Hey, yo, my friends, I can't believe it. You guys, you, you just awesome. You know that <clears throat> this channel is five weeks old. I had had a, of course, a couple of people coming from my main channel right here. Five weeks. I think 14 videos in that time on this channel, 14 videos and over 1000 subscribers right on this day. It's um, <clears throat> Thursday. It's Thursday, the 9th February 2023. And this is, anyway, I, I still can't believe I can grow a YouTube channel with 14 videos within five weeks to make 1,000 subs, man. I don't know. But, man, let's get back to the music side. Today I'm gonna react on a band that I got um, requests on. Again, it's Vibe. And they're not active anymore. They uh, did music just for three or four years. That's what I got from the comments. The song I'm going for is Shop No Death. It's the lyric video I saw. It's on the G-Series ch channel as well. So I'm just hoping we're not getting any copyright issues. Because I had copyright issues with the RSL songs from G-Series. But we will see. If they will claim it, this reaction will probably just go on... Um, facebook so anyway okay today we're not gonna make an intro i already talked so much so let's just start man <clears throat> I mean, these, these switches, man. Like, the beat. I mean, they switching into another groove right in the moment where the one is just running. Like, in the middle of the beat somewhere. Okay, is this... Is this more heavy metal? Is this more hard rock? What is the real difference between hard rock and heavy metal? Please, please write it down in the comments, man. But for me, what it say? Like, Vibe is a heavy metal alternative rock band. That is what it said right on screen. Okay, alternative rock. You could call it like that. From Dakar. Formed in 2001. Is not active anymore since 2008. So actually, seven years. Vibe was one of the leading emerging heavy metal band of Bangladesh of the century with art cell cryptic fate etc they they going to get mentioned in the same sentence with art cell right here all right man okay Okay, I see. The thing about this is they making so many like I think what what are these switches? Is actually the drama just switching so much in what he's playing? Or is it just the It's actually the whole band, but I think the drama is doing a big part right here that it sounds like there are constantly new parts coming up. Um, the vocalist, the vocalist has a really interesting voice. It's kind of lulling, I think that is the word for it. Like it's kind of like you're 
he wants you to to um fall in trance like this is what i feel when i listen to his voice man really interesting heavy metal right there <laughs> So yeah, it's very, it's very rhythmic. Like the, the rhythm, I, I feel like the rhythm is the most important thing in, in this whole thing. Like it's not, they're, they're, like it's not, not really melodic, the whole music. It's like the guitars are playing like rhythm in the first place. And even the singer is like, like a lot going with the rhythm of the whole band. And... Of course, he's. I think he's a really good singer. Like he's he's uh, very on point with his tones, right? Even even compared to other good singers, like he sounds more. Uh, he sounds very balanced. He sounds very clear and on point. You know. Um, yeah. Let's go and continue. Let's read a little bit. We get an information about the band as well. A few weeks before eight day, they introduced their first full length album, Shina Jogot. Oh, I got I got messages, but they they have a song called like that, not just an album. And at G series, this was released. Uh, it contains eleven tracks. Um, scored a positive appraise from the critics. Um. So they released two albums. Is that correct? I guess. Oh. Metal, they they don't call metal without a reason. Guitar music, you know, it's like the guitar is the heart of metal. Like it's always when you when you listen to a metal song, the heart of the music is the guitar because it makes like this. These electronic guitars make up the sound of metal, and that's I mean, how how this solo sounded from the guitar right here. And how they introduced into the solo. That was beautiful already. And then it really went on full. Hey boy. I I don't know. Like the I have to say the video really be a little bit distracting me with these um information. Like it's it's probably interesting, but it's like the, the scripture is not so easy to read, I feel. So uh like to, to read fast. So it's a little bit uh, distracting. Um, I don't know how big they're in Bangladesh or, or how big they were, how how important they were in the history, but I can definitely say they make it, they make good music. Like um, 
not exceptional like nothing like i could imagine how how should i say that i i don't want to insult them look at the same time i want to say like um like I, I heard only Cat Pronto from Art Cell, that was exceptional. I heard songs from Artoin, they were exceptional. But this was this was all progressive metal. Progressive metal is pro uh, exceptional. So this is more heavy metal. So for me, it's more a song that is um uh, how, 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 man, how should I put it? Like it's like it's like more basic, it's more solid, it's more rough, you know. It's not like the crazy stuff ever happening, you know. But it's good. I like it. To be honest, I think the drummer, the drama switched a little bit too much. Like, or maybe, maybe like, hmm. but this just, this just, I, I only say that because I played drums myself. Like, I think, I think a good drummer is playing for the sake of the band and not to shine like on, on his own, except this is this is intended in the, in this very part of the song but i felt like the drummer wanted to have fun in this song like I, I, let's put it that way like no it was like he played really good like he played really on point the drummer played really on point um like maybe a little bit too much in one or two parts like for my feeling as a drummer as a drummer not like as a usual music listener like um vibe amen still i want to say thank you very much for 1000 subscribers you guys are absolutely great i didn't expect this to go so well when i started off the two two uh two new channels um for for bangladesh and turkey and i'm absolutely mind blown flabbergasted by that look the, the channel for turkey is right now it's somewhat like 200 to 300 subscribers some, somewhere in between so um i don't know how long it will go uh, last for that channel to to get to the one 1000 subs it always depends on how how youtube is deciding to suddenly push out the reactions to the people and then people want to see it or not don't want to see it or whatever but you we never know we never know as content creators and this is this is what makes it so interesting so when when i overlive for she from uh, she ronami on my channel suddenly gained like whatever 10000 views in one day and i had 100 more subscribers in one day i was like what the, what happened man like i didn't do that <laughs> suddenly all the new people were there man and i just want to share a little bit of of myself or what how i am experiencing youtube and i'm very grateful for all the comments that i'm receiving i'm only only getting love in the comments i don't see a single comment that spreads hate um the only ones like there's there's some people i see them in the comments who repeatedly always again um recommend songs and they recommend one song 10 times in a row on 10 different videos and, and maybe they get mad because i don't react on the video you know anyway <laughs> i i try to do my best you know i try to do my best but uh i want to i want to celebrate this with you today that we reached 1000 subscribers i'm so happy and um i still uh don't have the 4000 hours watch time that i need for monetization but man i'm not so far away i wonder how long it will take to monetize this channel man hey boy if you want to see a music video of myself because i'm a rapper please check out right here on screen it's provided with english subtitles so you can understand the lyrics and right above you can find my latest reaction on bangla music that might be interesting for you as well and i'm out